solid wire model of cell division. Get two long and short solid wires that will serve as a chromatin of the cell. Take a tape then wrap it around the wire to indicate the position of the centromere. Place the tape in the middle of the longer wires and three-fourths of the shorter wires. At the tip of each chromatin, place the tape labeling 1P for the long blue wire, 1M for the long red wire, 2P for the shorter blue wire, and 2M for the shorter red wire. Take another identical set of wires to double the chromatin fiber, then tape the sister chromatids to connect them. Mitosis Prophase In this stage, the chromatin begins to condense and the centrioles begin moving to the opposite ends of the cell, and the fibers extend from the centrioles. In metaphase, the spindle fibers align the chromosomes along the middle of the cell nucleus, this line is referred to as the metaphase plate. This organization helps to ensure that in the next phase, when the chromosomes are separated, each new nucleus will receive one copy of each chromosome. In anaphase, the paired chromosomes separate at the kinetic cores and move to opposite sides of the cell. Motion results from a combination of kinetic core movement along the spindle microtubules and through the physical interaction of polar microtubules. In telophase, the chromatids arrive at opposite poles of the cell, and the new membranes form around the daughter nuclei. The spindle fibers disperse, and cytokinesis or the partitioning of the cell may also begin during this stage. Meiosis 1 In prophase 1, the pairs of chromosomes may then exchange bits of DNA in a process called recombination or crossing over. In metaphase 1, the chromosome pairs line up next to each other along the center of the cell. The centrioles are now at opposite poles of the cell with the meiotic spindles extending from them. The meiotic spindle fibers attach to one chromosome of each pair. In anaphase 1, the pair of chromosomes are then pulled apart by the meiotic spindle which pulls one chromosome to one pole of the cell and the other chromosome to the opposite pole. In telophase 1, the chromosomes complete their move to the opposite poles of the cell. A membrane forms around each set of chromosomes to create two new nuclei. The single cell then pinches in the middle to form two separate daughter cells each containing a full set of chromosomes within a nucleus. This process is known as cytokinesis. Meiosis 2 In prophase 2, there are two daughter cells, each with two chromosomes. The centrioles duplicate and the meiotic spindle forms again. In metaphase 2, each of the two daughter cells, the chromosomes line up end-to-end -end along the equator of the cell. The centrioles are now at opposite poles in each of the daughter cells, and the meiotic spindle fibers at each pole of the cell attach to each of the sister chromatids. In anaphase 2, the sister chromatids are then pulled to opposite poles due to the action of the meiotic spindle. The separated chromatids are now individual chromosomes. In telophase 2, a membrane forms around each set of chromosomes to create two new cell nuclei. This is the last phase of meiosis. However, cell division is not complete without another round of cytokinesis. Once cytokinesis is complete, there are four granddaughter cells, each would have a set of chromosomes.